Good evening to you. A large area of light showers right now over a good portion of central and southeastern Kansas, moving into northeast Kansas as well. Take a closer look at that on Max Track Radar. You'll see uh, the showers right now kind of extend from a line from just north of Topeka all the way westward to north of Randolph and Westmoreland, approaching Marysville, Washington. Light rain at Clay Center and Concordia, and a larger band of rain from Madison to Cottonwood Falls, moving northeast toward Emporia, and events eventually up toward Linden and Osage City as well. Uh, when you again look at the wide view of this, you see it's a large area of rain, but there's still some more well to the west. But right now, just some light rain in our area. But those rounds off to the west and southwest. Give us rain showers likely for tonight. We will see some breaks as this round of the showers moves through tomorrow. That'll give us breaks in the cloud cover at times. We have a very wet weekend and a very chilly weekend out ahead of us. With rain moving in, don't forget, you always want to have radar with you. If you don't have our weather app, go to your uh, mobile marketplace, search for KSNT Storm Track. It's a free app with up to the minute radar and the latest video forecast, as well as more than that on there. Check it out. We've got cloudy skies in Junction City right now. The clouds have returned for Topeka. After topping out the low 60s, we're back to 59 in the capital city with a south southwest wind, very light at just six miles per hour. Before the rain, much of us were in the 60s. Now a larger area in the 50s, 54 at Clay Center, 58 at Emporia. Holton still holding on at 60 degrees with a light south wind overall at about 6 to 8 miles per hour. The winds tonight into tomorrow will turn east and then eventually northeast as this next round of rain moves in. This first system, again with some scattered showers off to the west, will continue to fill in. That will move on through. Another one right behind it will dig deeper into the southwest and allow for a longer period of time that will get rain in here. And you'll see this on future track. This round of showers comes through in a few waves of it overnight, it's 3 30 in the morning. But by tomorrow morning early, most of it's lifting north and then out as we see some breaks in the clouds. And we should warm up quite a bit again tomorrow afternoon before. The next round of rain starts to develop over the area Saturday. Here's a look at Saturday morning. Off and on, moderate to heavy rain showers. Catch a break here and there with more rain and a cold rain at that moving in for Sunday. Estimated rain totals when you put it all together, widespread one to two, some areas two to three inches of rain out ahead of us. 47 with a few showers in the morning. The clouds may break apart a little bit for a while in the afternoon with mid-60s. And then we come back down into the mid 50s during the evening hours as the next round of rain starts to approach. Not a whole lot of break in between. 30% chance of rain tomorrow morning, 100% chance by Saturday, 90% on Sunday, and a rainy, cold weekend. Temperatures in the 40s should clear out on Monday before a few more showers move our way later Tuesday, Tuesday night into part of Wednesday. Well, before the rain got here, what a gorgeous view. There's east of Topeka from Cloyce and Shirley Hamilton as well as a beautiful view, kind of an overlook at Overbrook from Gary Hoffsummer. Gorgeous start to the day. It's not like that anymore. But right outside your window? I guess if you're really tall, you could see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. All right, thanks.